406. I might be at the end of the uh, life of the CO2 cartridge. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> okay, around 400 feet per second. A little bit, a little bit higher with a fresh cartridge. Howdy, folks! You're watching Noosing Guns. I'm out on the farm today, just shooting some uh, pellet rifles and pellet pistols. I've got a question for good old Google: How fast is the fastest 22 pellet rifle? Apparently, the Extreme Hunter 22, called the Beast by Gamo, is 1,300 feet per second. So basically more than three times what I'm getting out of my pistol right now. Interesting. But I think I can do better. And exactly how am I going to better Gamo's 1,300 feet per second 22 pellet rifle? Well, with a 22 long rifle, bolt action rifle, and some rim set 22 blanks. There we go. The pellet's in there now. And now the blank. There we go. Put on my safety, and we're good to go. Okay, 22 pellet, 22 uh, long rifle blank from Ramset for an actual construction device you may or may not be familiar with. Got my chronograph ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right here. And here we go. Oh, almost forgot. I'm just shooting pellets, <laughs> but now it's probably going to be a, quite a bit louder than a normal pellet rifle. So, eyes and ears, mandatory. Safety is off. What? 2,890 feet per second. Yes. Is that, is that real? Is that real? Here's what happens to a 22 blank when it's shot in a 22 room fire. I have got to try that again. There is, I moved the uh, chronograph further away from me because I think some of that smoke, it didn't make a lot of smoke. So maybe the smoke affected the actual reading. That can happen. That is not unusual. Oh, safety. Now some of the pellets are getting jammed inside the chamber so then I'm not actually able to get the 22 blank in there, so I'm actually having to use a cleaning rod and push them down. There we go. Just jammed in there real good. Got to get into the grooves, into the out of the chamber and into the grooves. The actual blank has easily chambered behind it with a little bit of a gap there, and then we are ready to rock and roll. And almost 2,500 feet per second. This is amazing. Okay, well, I declare this to be the uh, most powerful 22 pellet gun ever. Turns out it's a 22 long rifle. Alrighty, well, I'm starting to lose a light here in the farm, but I have two Dr. Wow sodas to demonstrate what happens when I use my 22 pellet pistol shooting at roughly 400 feet per second versus a rifle shooting the same exact pellet at 24, 2600 feet per second. Don't need ears for this. We're good to go, safety off. See, and that's a, that's a healthy, that is definitely a healthy thud for a 22 pellet. But, <laughs> <laughs> Already again, this thing is loud, so ears are on. It's probably going to make a big mess. If you were at a Gallagher concert, you'd put up your plastic right about now. Safety off. <laughs> he just opened it up. What the? <laughs> All right, some investigation is in order. I literally opened it up because it's not very accurate. That That's... For dang sure, it's not very accurate. But the pellet, let's see if I can get the focus here. It hit right there, skimmed across, hit the actual open tab. So pellet hit, went through the tab, and out the back. Okay, I put in a second Dr. Wow soda down there for testing, because Dr. Wow actually has a PhD in ballistics. It's amazing. Try this one more time here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep. That did a number on it. Much more so than the actual pellet rifle or pellet pistol. Now for this demonstration, I did not actually use real 22 blanks. I used actual ram set 22 blanks that are meant for construction sites to go to a nail gun that shoots a nail into concrete or brick or cement, things of that nature. And they're, they're pretty hardcore. Now I have been told that they were and maybe still are using corrosive primers or corrosive gunpowder still in these. And now maybe the ram set nail guns are actually able to handle the corrosiveness of these blanks, but I will be cleaning my 22 rifle as if I shot corrosive ammo, just like I would clean a Mosin Nagant. So if you're interested in that, look that up. Now I have to recommend, do not try this at home. This is for me to try out so you guys don't have to. Now, there's all kinds of things that could go wrong. I'm using a pellet in, it could have gotten lodged in the barrel. The actual, the actual pellet could have gotten stuck in here and caused an overpressure. So in the end, let me risk my equipment so you guys don't have to, and you guys can just like sit back and enjoy the show. Well guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go ahead and subscribe. There's a lot more of us on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, go ahead and leave that in the comment box below the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya.